It's a beautiful autumn weekend here in Wisconsin and we're camping at Blue Mound State Park in the southern part of the state. And this weekend, I thought it would be a great opportunity to kind of play around with some vertical antennas. So just to kind of start things out, uh, I, I always get a lot of questions uh, from people on, you know, what I'm using for equipment, most notably what I'm using for my support, my tripod. And this is, this is it. Um, this is a Bogan 3001. Uh, Bogan also is known as Manfrotto. Um, back in the 80s, 70s, and 80s, uh, Bogan equipment uh, was the importer of Manfrotto tripods. Manfrotto tripods are from Italy. And uh, so the older tripods had the Bogan name on them. Sometime in uh, the late 90s, early 2000s, um, Bogan dropped its distributorship and uh, Manfrotto took things over. So now these tripods are known exclusively as Manfrotto tripods, which they were <laughs> in the rest of the world. Uh, this is a 3001. It is no longer produced. Uh, these have been probably unavailable for maybe 15 years or so, 20 years, I don't know. Uh, you can find them online on eBay, uh, about 50 bucks, uh, all aluminum tripods, very rugged, um, very sturdy. This was my camera tripod until I um, switched to something a little bit um, larger and more stable. Uh, this one fully extended will go up to about 50 inches and um, you can you can actually, you know, you can also spread the legs out um, so you can increase the stability of the tripod. Um, the great thing about these tripods, if you do find them used, you know, if, if any of the parts are missing or broken, replacement parts are easily available. So consider that. Uh, this is the, so um, the base I use is the Bogan Manfrotto uh, 3001 aluminum uh, tripod legs. And at the top here, uh, this is a Manfrotto uh, quick release mount. I use the same uh, quick release system for all of my um, photographic tripods. So <laughs> I got the quick release plate uh, for the ham radio tripod too. Uh, this is the receiver and this would be, this is the plate itself. Um, on top of this plate, this is a little stud that has a one quarter by 16 thread on one side. So it's screwed into the tripod plate. And then on the other side is a three eighths by 24 thread. So I can um, put on any kind of um, antenna feed point, a vertical antenna feed point mount or, or something like that onto the base. It just snaps in uh, just like so, locks in. It's a very stable, uh, very, very sturdy kind of mount. These studs you can find uh, McMaster car. Uh, I'll put a link down in the video description. They're about seven, eight bucks a piece. Get yourself a half a dozen of them uh, so that you can spread that shipping cost out. And uh, now to increase the stability of my tripod, I'm using this. Uh, this is um, just some, sand, uh, some sandbags. You can get these online. Um, you, you get them, you purchase them empty, and then I just filled it up with about 15 pounds of um, contractor sand. <laughs> uh, so uh, I've actually got four of these at home. I only need one of these. I just hang this on the tripod, and that adds enough stability to the base that um, it's not going. It's not going to tip over no matter how hard the wind is blowing. So uh, that's the core of my vertical system, is that tripod base. Uh, what we're going to do is um, we're going to set up the, um, the performer uh, antenna, Greg's KJ6ER's performer, uh, for the feed point. I'm going to be using this little piece here from uh, Res Antennas, uh, 3 8 by 24 stud for the whip, and uh, 3 8 by 24 uh, base that's going to screw into the... Um, and quick release here on the tripod. There's a uh, beautiful little, um, I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but um, little ports that you can add a um, uh, banana plug. So your counterpoise, if it has a banana plug on it, it can um, clip right in there. Uh, these counterpoises, I got, um, it's the second stage in tennis systems. Um, you can find a second stage vertical antenna on Etsy. He sells the uh, counterpoises alone or you can purchase um, an entire kit 
for a, for a vertical antenna. Really handy. I like these a lot. Um, they got little beads on them so that you just unwind the counterpoise to whatever band you're going to be at, uh, 15, 20, or 40 meters, whatever. And um, it's um, the beads tell you where to stop and, and, and hang it up. So um, for whip, we're going to be using this. This is the chameleon. This is actually the chameleon um, SS25, 25-foot uh, whip. Uh, this is my favorite whip. Um, nice and long, super rugged. And uh, we're going to do some low band stuff uh, this weekend. So I'm just going to I'm just going to go right to the 25 foot whip. Uh, basic setup for the um, for my vertical uh, performer elevated uh, vertical style antenna. So let's uh, get it set up and we'll put it on here. I forgot to mention to um, uh, support my elevated counterpoises, I'm using these. These are fiberglass driveway markers. Uh, you can get them for a couple bucks a piece at your favorite home improvement store. And uh, this is a rubber bongo tie that kind of keeps the bundle in place. You just sort of spread them out in kind of a teepee style. And uh, they hold your uh, counterpoise up off the ground. Whiskey One, Lima Delta Echo, gotcha. Week uh, 4 4 here into Wisconsin, US 1441. Back to you. Roger, Roger. I have you a 5 by 7, a 5 by 7 into Mike Echo. Mike Echo, QSO. Hey, thanks for Maine. You peaked there at a 5 7, and uh, thanks for Maine. You have a great day, 7 3. Have a great activation. Thanks for taking my call. 7 3. <laughs> 7 3. Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo parks on the air. Cures it. Kilo Delta 9, Victor Yankee Yankee. Kilo Delta 9, Victor Yankee Yankee. Nice 5 7 into Wisconsin. US 1441. Back to you. Yeah, thanks, Michael. You are also 5 7 in Northeast Florida. All right. Hey, thanks for Florida today. Uh, you have a great evening in 7 3. This is Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo. Parks on the air. Cures it. Victor Romeo. Tango stroke Alpha Golf. Uh, Alpha Golf. Kilo Foxtrot 8 Echo X ray Tango stroke Alpha Golf. Kilo Foxtrot 8 uh, Kilo Foxtrot 8 Echo X ray Tango stroke AG. Well, congratulations and uh, good to get you in the log. You're a beautiful 5 8 into Wisconsin, US 1441. Back to you. USL, thanks very much. You're a 5 9 in Ohio tonight. All right, well, thanks a lot for Ohio, and um, good to get you on the HF bands. You have a great evening in 7-3. Thank you, 7-3. Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Kilo Romeo, 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 Quebec, Kilo. Quebec, Quebec, Kilo. Kilo Charlie 1, Quebec, Quebec, Kilo. 5-5, five, five, New Hampshire. November 7, Bravo Echo Romeo. Kilo India 5, Victor Bravo Romeo. November 7, Bravo Echo Romeo 58, Wisconsin, US 1441. Back to you. Thank you. Uh, can I get your call sign, please? Certainly, call sign is Kilo Bravo Niner, Victor Bravo Romeo. Uh, Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, QSL. QSL, you got it. Roger, Roger. Thank you very much. You about it. Four. About four signal report All right, hey, thanks a lot for the for the contact. Uh, you have a great evening in seven three. We're gonna grab a couple more here, and then I gotta get dinner going. KB nine VBR parks on your last call. Alpha, Alpha, November four, Mike Yankee Zulu. 
Okay, I heard the Kilo India 5. Yankee Oscar Oscar Y O O. Kilo India 5, Yankee Oscar Oscar. Yeah, you're down in my noise, but a 5 3 Wisconsin US 1441. Back to you. Thanks for the 0307. You have a great activation. Seven three. Any other park to parks? All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll be on all weekend. Uh, KB9 VBR. We're going to be QRT. Ah. Oofta. Fifty seven. And my fingers are getting cold. Huh? Got more than ten. My fingers are getting cold. So. We're getting there. We're getting there. We got to get some dinner going too.